Hello guys, Edgar here with Chromespot.com and today we're checking out a very cool app. As you may know, the Google Cast SDK was just released last week, but a lot of apps couldn't actually be released with Chromecast um, features or compatibility because, well, simply because the Google Play Services app had to be updated. And before, if that wasn't updated, then the developers couldn't do anything with that or, or release it. So here we are, it's finally out. I've been checking it out a few days um, because you know I got early access to it. So yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little show about it and I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Um, if you don't know Dayframe, it's pretty much this app that turns any device into a frame, a picture frame. When your tablet or phone is not doing anything and you have it in you know, dock somewhere, pretty much turns it into something nice to look at. And uh, so they pretty much released um, Chromecast, Chromecast compatibility here. Here we have Dayframe, and we open it up, and it looks just like your regular Dayframe, right? Everything is normal except you have that little button on the top right corner, which is the Chromecast button. So I connect to my room here, and you'll see that the TV will take care of the rest. So all I have to do now is tap on any image, and uh, let's say I tap on this one, which is one I took a while back ago. And it'll display the image on my TV. I don't know if you can notice that, but I've noticed that it's a little stuttery when it's moving the image. It's not like just scrolling it up smoothly. It's like stuttering and like da 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 da. -da. You know, you can see like certain pixels moving. But uh, the cool thing about here is that you can actually customize things and change things around. For example, here, if you don't want the the frame to be moving or you know just to be active, you can press this button here. And it'll just set it and accommodate it to your screen dis to your screen size. Um, other than that, if we take a look at the app, you can also shuffle this. Oh, and by the way, uh, all of these Chromecast features are actually with a Dayframe Prime, which costs five dollars. It's an in-app purchase, so you'll have to buy that if you want to use this app with Chromecast. You can actually like this picture here. Let's, for example, here I liked it with my with my Flickr account and I can record a comment or I can share it so it makes it more interactive you can do other things with the app more so than just looking at them and displaying them on your TV um, if you've t taken a look at the app before uh, you'll see that you can actually add any type of account here I'll have all my Flickr folders and streams my Facebook stuff you can add other stuff that is not your own account you can add anyone's Instagram anyone's Flickr and I can press here and add new and here we have all the options pretty much and here you can accommodate everything in what order you want them if you want them to show up in the left everything works pretty smoothly and I haven't had any crashes or problems um, let's look at something else though I can tap here and I have some of my favorite images that I've seen in the past I can just press this button right here and it'll start playing them right away. <sighs> really like this image. So you can swipe through here and look at some of the other ones. And this is Joel. Joel again. So yeah, this is another one of my streams. And a cool thing about it is that you can actually use GIF files or GIF, whatever you may want to call them. And it's moving and you can watch them and have fun with them. So if people on your Facebook are posting this kind of stuff and you know you just want to look through and comment and all that, share, um, you can do it straight from the app using your TV. So yeah, it, it's working pretty smoothly for me and it's not giving me any trouble. So I say it's an app to definitely try out. It's a little expensive at $5, but if you really want to take advantage of your Chromecast device and you like the Dayframe app or you already use it, then it might be worth it. Um, once again, this is Edgar from Chromespot.com, and this was a quick look, a uh, little review of the Dayframe app with Chromecast support. Thank you guys very much for watching, and have a good day.